I'm going to do an exercise for American Mahjong using the National Mahjong League card. I call this exercise Random Pulls. The purpose of the exercise is to practice identifying the strength in a dealt hand. If you're new to Mahjong or if you already know how to play and just want to build your skills, consider subscribing to my channel. That way you won't miss anything. We're going to do three random pulls. We'll alternate between dealer and non-dealer. So we'll get 14 and 13 tiles respectively. We have a West Green Dragon 147 in BAMs with a pair of ones. We have two, five, seven, eight, nine in dots, all singles. And then we have three, five in cracks with a pair of fives. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would focus on odds. That would use the ones and the fives, building around multiples. That would be the strength for this hand, in my opinion. So I would play odds. That means I would let the four go, the two and the eight, probably this west. If I had to pick a hand right now, I would maybe try for the concealed odd hand, but I wouldn't pick a hand. It's way too early. I would gather all odds and maybe focus on little odds so we could work around the one and the five. Odds, probably little odds. We have a West South White, three BAM, one, two, five, eight in dots with a pair of eights, six, seven, eight, nine in cracks, singles. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass? If these were my tiles, I would build around the eights. So I would likely play either consecutive run six through nine or evens, keep that two. Maybe keep the white dragon, which means we'd pass these. Either two, four, six, eight or six through nine. And I wouldn't pick a hand there's nothing clear here for me to pick a hand yet. So I probably would pass those three, maybe, maybe the West odds with a West, because there's a hand that uses West with evens, North and South with odds, East and West with evens. So by passing the West with odds, if someone's playing that particular hand, they wouldn't be able to use all those tiles. So six, seven, eight, nine, or two, four, six, eight. Primarily because of the pair of eights. We have a flower, six, nine, pair of sixes in our dots. We have one, two, six, seven, nine in bands, pairs of twos and nines. Then we have two, four, seven in cracks. If these were your tiles, what would you focus on and what would be your first pass?
When I first saw these tiles, I was thinking 369. 369 with or without the flower. We have a gap. No three. The other thing I was thinking about is 2468. Even though we have no eight, we've got a pair of twos in there. Sixes, twos. So I was thinking 2468 might be a better choice. Or we could maybe play like numbers with sixes or like numbers with twos. We could do the same thing with nines or 369. I think that either way, evens or 369, I think there's equal potential with maybe a little more tiles to work with with 2468. Either way, there there's a gap. No 8 for 2468 and no 3 for 369. So probably what I would do is pass one of each suit out of these and go for 2468. This one was kind of a challenge, I think, because of the gaps. So here I would probably pass one of each suit. That's going to leave a pair. If we get all 2468, I would not pass a pair in the next pass. So probably what I would do here is break up the nine. I wouldn't pass those all one suit like that. There's a hand, a couple of hands using one suit with odds. So I think I would probably pass these and then work with these in the next pass. Focus on two, four, six, eight or like numbers. American Mahjong is very flexible, but you're limited to the hands on the card. When you get your dealt tiles, look for the strength of the hand. It's going to be either multiples or a predominant pattern that fit one of the categories on the card. Play a category that uses most of your tiles. And if you have a multiple in there, focus on that. It's a great way to set yourself up for success going into the Charleston. If you have a set of tiles at home, I hope you give this exercise a try. If you like this video, give me a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to my channel, consider subscribing. Click that little gray bell if you do, that way you'll get notification for when I post new videos and you won't miss an opportunity to learn a new strategy or pick up an insight to the game that could give you an advantage at the table. Between now and the next video, may all your picks be keepers.